All right, everybody, welcome. Um, I'm Ted Crockett, the executive director of the National Film Festival, presented by Nissan. I just want to say real quickly, thank you all so much for coming. I think we've gone to another level this year, and we couldn't do it without all of you. Um, we're so grateful for all the volunteers that we have. I want to thank all of them, our wonderful festival staff um, that come back almost every year and um, with a smile on their face, and they don't make a lot of money, but you would never know. Um, I want to announce something really exciting that just happened a couple days ago. We are very excited to announce a new platinum sponsor, and it's Navari Digital. Um, it will be a cash sponsorship along with a lot of in-kind services that I, I'm not going to tell you exactly what they're doing, but it's going to be something that will affect us in a big way. Um, they were not able to make it to this meeting, but you will see it in the media. And um, let's, let's give them a round of applause real quick. And um, I know you are all waiting for someone other than me for the exciting results. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce our artistic director, Brian Owens. Thank you, Ted. All right, um, I'm going to move right in because I know that we have a lot of anxious folks here. So uh, without further ado, welcome to the 2012 awards ceremony. My name is Brian Owens. I am the artistic director, and we're thrilled to have a standing room only crowd. Uh, for the awards. Um, so, let's dive in. Uh, oh yeah, my name is Brian Owens. <laughs> uh, we're going to begin with uh, the short films. And up first, I want to thank our jurors, Lauren Adamwam, Dorothy Hinkle, and Susie Howard. Dorothy, I know you're here. So let's give them a round of applause. And at this moment, I would like to begin with the Ground Zero Tennessee Spirit Awards. And for that, I would like to bring up Mr. Bob Jackson. Bob? Uh, Ground Zero is a post-production house in Nashville. We've been sponsored for about eight, eight years. In the last couple of years, we started giving out in-kind awards for the best Tennessee filmmakers. So I'm just doing the shorts only right now, and, and we'll be back for a feature. But for the best Tennessee short documentary, it went to Mr. Smith's Beach Seeds. Is anyone here from that film? Who are you? So everybody knows, they won the 3,000 in-kind award for uh, post-production services from Ground Zero, so for the next project over the next few years, they need a little help, they can step up and see us. And then for Best Tennessee Short Narrative, went to Talking to Arthur. And I don't know if anyone can see who I am. We have so many filmmakers here from all over the place and two locals couldn't make it, so. <laughs> We're moving on to the Vanderbilt Golden Opportunity Award. This is for an outstanding short film by a college student. And uh, I do know for sure that this filmmaker is not here because they would have traveled a very long way and it was way beyond our travel budget. Uh, but that one goes to Chun Yi Xie for Byanzi. Next is Best Experimental Short, and they were here, uh, actually. They did travel a very long way, uh, but did have to move on to the next festival. The award for Best Experimental Short goes to, oh, the jurors for Experimental Short. Sorry, I was jumping ahead. James Cathcart, Patrick Haller, and Jason Sean, thank them very much. And the award <laughs> goes to All the Lines Flow Out, directed by Charles Lin Yi Yong from Singapore. I don't know if you had a chance to meet them, but they did uh, pay on their own dime uh, to get all the way uh, here from Nashville, uh, largely for an exciting reason, because his wife is going to be working on a documentary here in Nashville in the next year, so uh, we're really excited to have filmmakers traveling like that. Uh, up next, Best Documentary Short, and yeah, that award goes to Meeting of Robots, directed by Matt Lensky, and if you read the program, if you read the program, yes, this is the one about a guy who is literally up to his ear in robot wieners. So, <laughs> who says that uh, documentaries can't be funny, right? Uh, up next, and this is an Academy Qualifying Award. Uh, the award for Best Animated Short goes to Drift, Mr. Leo Verrier. And 
finally on shorts, best narrative short, also qualifying for Academy Award consideration. The award for best narrative short goes to Curfew, directed by Sean Christensen. <laughs> right, we'll be moving on to features shortly, but I did want to let you know that at the conclusion, uh, we will reveal this poster, uh, which has honorable mentions for shorts and some of the other, uh, other awards that we weren't able to announce here, simply so we didn't keep you in this tent for uh, two and a half hours. Um, although it's moving along quite quickly, actually, at the moment. So, And also, uh, for members of the press who are here, Joe uh, Pagetta, our publicist, has a press release available. Yes, give Joe a round of applause. <laughs> he has press releases that will be available um, to members of the press, and it will go live on our website in a matter of two minutes after we're done here. And also, for those of you who are interested in seeing films that you may have missed, uh, those will go live on our website for purchase for uh, Back by Popular Demand and award-winning screenings tomorrow.